Hello and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host Jason Turner. I am an independent contractor and C++ trainer. Now in this episode I am going to again look at our variadic min functions that we've been playing with in the last couple of episodes which have been implemented in C++ 17. And I believe two episodes ago I promised that I would show you a non C++ 17 version of it because you're probably not using a compiler that can use C++ 17. But these techniques are totally valid in pre-C++ 17 code. And I've gone over some of this in my variadic expansion examples, but here's just a quick refresher. So we are doing this C++ 17 fold expression. But really, we're not taking advantage of the fact that it's a fold expression at all. We're just doing a comma operator variadic expansion. So all we need is a holder for this. So if we were to do a standard initializer list of type first and we were to initialize it with all of the values that are the results of this expansion like this, then we get the same exact value, negative 1.3 returned. You just have to remember that the comma is implied here. And basically, this is just going to expand out to setting the retval to each of these possible values that are passed in, an RT variadic parameter list. And it will do the minimum assign the retval in each one. So what we end up with is our initializer list that is holding all of the minimum calculations that were performed along the way, which could have its own interesting implications if you were interested in, in expanding what it did. And we can show that by instead returning our value here. And for the sake of this example, we need to make sure we move this decal type auto because we do not want to be turning a reference to the thing that was contained. We want to be returning the actual value. So we can see on the first comparison that we got negative 1.3. And we can use our standard next algorithm to say we want to know what the next value was after that. And it's still negative 1.3 because we have not yet gotten to our, well, in this case, it's always going to be negative 1.3. So let's um, make that 5.3. So we can see as we walk our way down the possible values that were calculated, we should in a moment, there we go, get to the 3. So just some interesting information on using standard initializer list when you don't have C++17's fold expressions available to you. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.